Back again to hear another story of immense fortune and unthinkable peril. Well, I have some time. The borderlands of Pandora were told to contain mysterious alien treasure troves filled with advanced technology and incredible power. Vaults, the people called them. And to seek one out was to earn you the title of Vault Hunter. At least by me. You could say Handsome Jack was one such explorer, though his methods could be seen as uh, somewhat unsporting. He ran the corporation Hyperion and died trying to claim Pandora as his own. History's attention is fickle, my friends. It will remember those pirates like Handsome Jack, but forget the adventurers who risk it all for less. Uh, Obvious rewards. Stories. Legends. Those are much better at getting at the real spirit of things. Stories remember both sides of the tale. Fiona! Come on, we can work this out! Fiona? <laughs> what, is there some sort of radiation leak I don't know about? <laughs> What is happening right now? I ask the questions. Okay, then do you mind asking yourself what you're doing? Oh! <laughs> what the hell? Tell me about the Gordas Project. <laughs> is that what this is about? <laughs> Look, Gordas is bad business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on E. Okay, 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 okay. Don't be a smartass. I'm not a patient person. So just start talking. Just where do you start when you're getting dragged through the desert and, uh... From the beginning. Right. I guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. And Handsome Jack, he was the you baddest guy of them all. This long. It must feel good I to find to be rabbit, just you know? like him. Take it. It's yours, right? <laughs> I mean, you always said that. <laughs> Everyone did. I gotta be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but uh, but hey, here Which we are. Which resulted in a company overflowing with assholes. Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. It took some time to fit in. But a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends, I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. Scratch that. Our lives. For the better. I was a little distracted. It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was concentrating on the important things. What's the first thing you're going to buy? I know what Henderson's making. I do his payroll. 
If you're getting a fraction of what he earns, you'll be rolling in it. It's not about money, Vaughn. It's about the respect it gets you. Yeah, you know who talks like that? Poor people that no one likes. Respect, it's nice, you know, but it's not nicer than a summer home on Eden 7. Get your priorities straight. We're meeting with a vet afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep, sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now. Because you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mine deal we put together. You're damn right I deserve it. I earned this. Well, Yvette and I did contribute. Right. Sure, you... you helped some. All right, man. Let's get that Hyperion face on. Oh, right, yeah. Hmm. Oh, we need some condescending. It's a little too friendly right now. Okay, tell you what. Tilt your head back. Uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. How's that? There you go. You don't respect me at all. Perfect. Mr. Henderson? Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a second. No, I wasn't talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you now. Yeah, but I don't want it in red. I want it in black. Because black is better. Look, don't concern yourself with why, okay, Jerry? Concern yourself with how. And just send the car over when it's ready. Company car. Didn't even have to ask. You look surprised to see me, Reese. And if I'm reading the situation right, and I usually am, you're not too happy about it either. This all came together quick. So you might not have been in the loop, but it's for the better. At least for me. So where's Henderson? He, uh, stepped out. You're going to be reporting to me now. And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. Well, that's a relief. Because <laughs> I... But this is about more than that, Reese. It's about your future in this company. Look, you want to know the reason why I'm in that chair and you're not? For the exact same reason why North is North. Why the handsome guy always gets the girl. And why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cock. It's destiny, race, And men, real men, men like me, make their own. And you can hold a grudge if you like. No harm, no foul, your thoughts are your own. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Sometimes men find themselves standing in the way of other men's destiny. You don't want to be that man. Wow, I could not have timed that better. That really helps dramatically make my point. Which is this. This promotion is going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny and put you on your own path. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to... Jerry, why isn't my new car digistructing in my office yet? Vasquez, it's August. Oh, August. Uh, yeah, cool, listen. Uh, I actually have somebody here with me, so... Uh, Are you buying this vault key, or what? Because I... How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. Of course I'm still interested. I... Yes, I'm near a computer. Ten million. Yeah. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. I mean, I'm not trying to be obstinate, but I need time. <laughs> Why are you turning this into a whole thing right now? Why are you trying to screw me on this? Oh, fine. Just wait there, okay? I can only be down it. If it's gonna be $10 million, I'm gonna need another hour or two. Okay. Yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Well, then just stay there. It's a tourist shop, right? Buy a mug or something. Sure. 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 Okay, say hi to your mom. Damn it!
Ah, right. Uh, what were we talking about? Before we were so rudely interrupted. You were lecturing me. It was taking a while. All right, your uh, promotion. Henderson was a fool. He didn't know his place. He needed lesson number one. Humility. But you, I respect you, Reese. That's why I'm gonna make you assistant vice janitor. What? No. No, you, you, you can't. I'm the boss now, Reese. I do whatever I want. Report to Sewage Scout 23. Effective immediately. I'm your boss, Reese. Get used to that. This is what I'm talking about when I say humility. That was lesson number two. Don't make lesson number three about a number two. What? Don't make me crap on the floor and make you clean it up! You're dismissed, Reese. I'll let you know when I need my trash can emptied. What the hell was that? He can't do this to us! He just did. No. No, no, this can't be happening. I'm finished, Vaughn. I'm finished. You know this place is. There's blood in the water, and everyone can smell it! Senior Vice Janitor Reese to Sector B451 for trash cleanup, because that is your job now, to clean up trash with your bare hands. Sorry, you were saying something? I interrupted you. Reese, why are you cleaning up trash? I thought you were getting a promotion. Trash duty seems like the opposite of a promotion. Henderson's dead. What? Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, you can ask him yourself. He's floating outside in space! It's that prick Vasquez. <sighs> he threw Henderson out of an airlock and demoted Reese to Trash Man. Holy crap. So, does that mean you're not buying? <laughs> Well, just try and lighten the mood. And I didn't bring my wallet, so if someone pays for me... I'll tell you who's gonna pay. Vasquez. I don't know if he's the type we to... We can't let that prick get away with this. We need to do something. He just killed a guy. Maybe it's better we lay low for a bit. What? No way. We hit back. We're gonna ruin his career. How do you plan on doing that? Yeah. Vasquez set up a deal on Pandora for a vault key. Whoa. A vault key? Uh-huh. And I'm sure he promised a die Hyperion. That must be why he got the promotion. The only thing Hyperion cares about more than money is its vault keys. It's perfect! I mean, not only do we screw over Askez, we have a friggin' vault key! What are they worth? Like a billion dollars? More. Yeah, but we need ten million dollars right now to make the deal. Hold, please. Done. I'm not gonna lie. That was impressive. I'm in accounting. It's what I do. Ten million bucks is chump change around here. By the time anyone notices, we'll have a vault key. Cool. Well, looks like you boys got it all figured out. I'm gonna go eat. Alone? Call me if you don't get killed, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right? Hey, hey, we need your help. We need clearance, transportation. You're a requisitions master. We need that stuff. Yeah, maybe a loader bot or two. You know, things get dicey. Look. It's one thing stealing from a bunch of poor suckers on Pandora. You're talking about stealing from Hyperion. But we're friends. Friends help each other steal stuff. I mean, that's how it works. Richter used to steal candy bars. His family still doesn't know where the body is. Richter was an asshole, and his family are assholes. Come on, I'll buy you the lunch I owe you when we get back. Fine. But you're buying me lunch now, and when you get back. <laughs> Done. We only got a couple hours. Go withdraw the cash. 
I'll get you guys clearance to Pandora, get you geared up, and issue you a standard Hyperion Town car. What? Standard? Really? And you can't spring for premium? Seat warmers, maybe a convertible or something? Sure, yeah, a convertible. So, just so I got this straight, you want me to get you a car to drive around Pandora that leaves you less protected, right? Look, you just, if you're gonna steal something, I uh, figure... No. No, don't worry. I've got a car in mind. So, what do we say if someone asks where we got the money? What do you mean? Well, I mean, what do we tell people? We should have a story. I, mean, I would prefer not to tell them that we stole it from Hyperion. That would not go over well. I just think we need a plan of some sort. We can just say it's for charity. What does that even mean? We say it's uh, some sort of open a vault for Pandorans kind of deal. People love stuff when it's attached to a charity. They hardly ever question their intentions. So, this looks not good. Got ourselves a hero here! What are you looking at? It's Pandora. What did you expect? Yeah, no, I know. I, I guess I'm just now more acutely aware that I have ten million dollars chained to me is all. In a neighborhood, I might add, of back planet nut jobs. <laughs> what the hell are you afraid of, huh? It's just a town, like any other, with a little more dust. What am I afraid of? Oh, I don't know, an uh, old mining community stranded on a planet, getting prospector madness and eating us for one. Listen, one tap on the arm, and Yvette can send down a loader bot if things get too entertaining. That's true. And she gave me this. It is a stun baton. I do not know how it works, but it's definitely neat. Yeah, stick. Neato. God, I can't wait to be in that chair. You, and me, a vet. I mean, we bring this key back, and they're gonna make us the once and future kings of that place for sure. They'll send in a crew to use the key, and then that's it? Yeah, yeah, we'll pop champagne and everything after we get back with the key. Ah, come on, it's in the bag! Tracker's beep beep beeping, but I don't see the place. It's the world of curiosities, right? Yeah, do you see it? No. Could ask one of them. They seem normal-ish. Normal-ish enough, anyway. I don't know. We can still just find it. I hate asking for help. We're on a very strict time limit here, Reese. If Vasquez comes down before we're finished, I mean, I, I don't even... Hey, you know, Grease Face. You know, the guy with the weird meat thing. You know where the World of Curiosities is? Because my buddy and I, we gotta be there, like, you know, right now. Say that again. Reese, what are you doing? Yeah, Reese. What are you doing? Repeat what you said. Just so there's no misunderstanding. What? You got a greasy face. Look, get some lotion, get some gel, do a wrap or something. I mean, if you want to lash out, you know, blame your jeans, it's not your fault. Oh, look, fella, uh, my friend is really, really sorry. He's got some kind of a condition where he says really stupid crap just to see what'll happen. <laughs> You're Hyperion. You egg suckers ruined this town, you know that? Atlas were bastards, but at least they had the good sense to fail. <sighs> okay. What's it gonna take, huh? How much? 20? 50? <laughs> It'd take a lot more than that. Hey, little man. What's in the case? Hey, kitty cat. Show us what's in the case. Okay, now, look, before we get all bent... Uh, oh. Is there, like, a convention or something? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Bandits. You know what we got here? Reese, do the... We got a couple Hyperion warmongers, gentlemen. The bot! Yvette, prime it! 
Already? Really? Just... <laughs> Give me the menu. Motor bot deployed. Time to clock in. Listen, boys. You're gonna hand over that case. Or you're handing over your heads. Your choice. Look, guys, let's talk about this. Got quiet all of a sudden. Already. Please stop shooting me. Engaging target. See? Piece of cake. Ah! He must really have to go. That is not good. Come on! these cost so much. Thank you kindly. Wait, 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 wait! Wait! Uh, Loaderbot! Go get the car! Stop! Thieves! Interesting. Should I know? Your freaking bot tossed us both out. Now kindly stand still and die. Yeah. Oh. That's all I wanted to know. We could have avoided all of this. Ow! Get your ass gone! Okay, okay, okay. Loader bot, put the car down. 
Sure thing. Bandits imminent. Please do something. Weapon subsystem requires your attention. All right, we'll have to improvise. Time to get funky. Circumstances realized. Engaging in disproportionate response mode. This thing is amazing. Reese, just tell it to run. Self-destruct option. Ow. Good night, sweet princess of. I will name my firstborn Lodervat. Well, you know, pr probably not. But... I. I can't believe we're alive. I mean, I, I never want to see somebody's brains come out of their nose. Not ever again. That, that was the single scariest experience of, of my entire life. Which should probably be over by now. But it's not. For some reason. But for those guys, a lot of those guys. Oh, come on. It was a little fun, right? You cannot honestly stand there and tell me that it didn't feel kind of great to kick all those guys' asses. <laughs> okay, yeah, it was a little awesome. But I'm sure it was as traumatic as it was fun. We're probably gonna need some therapy in the future, you know that, right? We'll be able to afford it. All right, let's just find this guy, August, buy the key. And get the hell out of here. How are you? Not great. Are you two not just the handsomest devils I've seen in ages? <laughs> uh. Asshole! Moi? Yes, you! Asshole! What do you think you're doing? What? What? What, what is this? Is this part of the, like, some kind of ride or something? Since the moment we walked in, it's just been one big freaky puppet show, so Thanks. I... Thanks! I'm Shade. This is my world of curiosities. Let me tell you right off the very bat, I am deeply sorry that you strapping young threshers of gentlemen here have to witness it in such sad disrepair. Time can take a toll, you know, and on more things than one. <laughs> <clears throat> but unfortunately, we are closed for renovations. But that doesn't mean you have to leave, of course, no. I mean, we can do other things. Listen, we're gonna make a deal, all right? We're buying a thing. Something valuable. You know anything about that? I know a lot of things about a lot of things, and this thing in particular. <laughs> Your Hyperion, right? Here for August. Yeah, if you want to buy something strange and illegal, <laughs> this is certainly the place to do it. My grandpappy. He's the one who came up with this place. He was a real thinker, you know, a real lover of animals. <laughs> Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. But the place itself. What happened? You get stuck in traffic? You Hyperion guys, you're usually so punctual. Getting 10 million together can't be too much trouble for you guys. 
I assume you'd have that kind of scratch as walk-around money. Oh, well, excuse me. I, I don't know if you heard the explosions outside, but, you know, we had to mow down about a couple hundred bandits just so we could ring the goddamn doorbell. Just in time for the spring collection. <laughs> yeah, well, that's Pandora for you. If it ain't a friggin' bug stampede, some jerk-off is using you for rocket practice. All right, well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August, but I figure you know that already. Is, uh, is Vasquez coming? Vasquez? <laughs> he was just the go-between, the middleman. The puppet, the pigeon. Stop. I'm the one who's buying the key. Yeah? Well, I guess as long as you got the money, one Hyperion bootlicker's as good as another. So, what's your name? Just so we're on, uh, equal footing. You want my name? My name's ten million dollars for all you should care. You're a vault key to me, okay? That's it. Okay, okay, look. I don't know what the hell you think you're doing, but this is not how I operate, all right? I expected Vasquez, and I got you. Yeah! So let's all get friendly real fast. I mean, I'm trying. Aren't I trying? Huh? Aren't I trying? You're trying. So, let's try again. My name's August. What's yours? Do you want me to guess? It's Reese. Reese? Reese. Isn't that what I said? Sure. Just sit down and let's do this so we can move on with our lives. Okay, so, let's see the money. Cash only for this deal. And I hope you brought big bills. Uh-uh, no. I know how this works. We see the merchandise first, then you see the money. Yeah. <sighs> all right, all right. The baby wants its bottle. Fine. You ever see anything so pretty in your miserable lives? This thing will practically dance at your wedding. State-of-the-art alien crap. It's goddamn gorgeous. Freaking A right it is. Okay, so, the way I uh, usually do these things is... Wait! What? I... Oh, I just don't like it. I gotta... I gotta feel them. What feeling? Look, you said when I started to get a feeling about something that I should tell you and that we should walk away, right? What are you possibly feeling right now? We're almost done. I get intuitions about this stuff. We're good here. Everyone relax. We just want to buy the key from August and go. Yeah, he just wants to buy a key. From me. Sasha, what the hell are you... I just... I just don't like it. They've had this dumb attitude on their dumb faces since the moment they walked in. What are you talking about? And why, why wouldn't they show you the money, huh? What's up with that? Sasha? They've been all, oh, yes, sir, and oh, no, sir, and oh, I have the money we agreed upon right here. Nothing you're saying is bad. Nobody does that. And especially Hyperion ore monkeys who'd rather bomb a small village than talk things through. I mean, look at that guy. Look at his face. Hey, Sasha? Sasha, listen to me. I, I know you don't trust Hyperion. Yeah, you think? And I know you have zero reason to trust us, but I'm telling you, we're not like those assholes. In, in fact, we're trying to get back at one of the worst assholes up there, and we need that key to do it. So please, take the money, and let us screw over one of the biggest jerks on Hyperion. Please. So you're saying this key will get used to screw over some wretched Hyperion stooge? That's exactly what we're saying. Alright, I'm sold. Awesome. Let's do this. Well, just wait. Just wait. Uh, August, everything's fine now. I mean, I don't know. If you really think... No, no, it's okay. The feeling's gone, August. Let's do the deal. I don't know. Maybe today's not right for this. If, if, if things are weird, 
if you ha have a feeling about things. August, Bubby, come on now, a deal's a deal. We didn't come all the way down here just no, to... I'm, I'm sorry, guys, I was... I thought I was gonna deal with Vasquez, and now this, I just... I just think we should call it off until I, I think things are square. Maybe another time, fellas. Hun, we're here. We should just do this. Really? No, I made up my mind. August, wait! Freeze! This is your department! Do something! August. Actually, that's okay. You don't know it yet. Know what? Uh, this... This is it. You can't see that one day. Maybe ten years from now. Maybe ten months. Maybe tomorrow. You're gonna think back on right now. And scream to the stars for mercy of death. Just so you'll not have to live in the wondering of what could have been. What if I had seized that chance by the throat? What if I had beaten my fears, taken what was so rightfully mine? What if I had won? <laughs> I am a winner, Reese. I am a winner! <laughs> well, look who decided to show her face. I was just about to get to my favorite part. You know, where you come in and you ruin my life, you no-class scheming Pandoran scum! A oh, nice haircut, you lying Hyperion jackass. It is a nice haircut! Oh, shut up! Stop it, stop it! You're getting dirt in my eye! That sucks, because I'm trying to get it in your lying mouth! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> and I'm not lying, okay? I'm embellishing. And how the hell would you know anyway? You weren't at the deal. Of course I was, you dope. I can't believe you still haven't figured that out. I knew you were dense the moment I... Your turn, Fiona. My turn for what? Tell me your side of the deal. You couldn't have asked me first. You kidnapped me hours ago. I guess I could have. You guess? I've been baking in the sun with Rax dive bombing me for the last. Oh, okay, I get it. This fraud conveniently left out the most important part of this whole thing. Which is? No, oh, this ought to be good. No, oh, go on. I can't wait. That psycho gang lord guy made his big stupid entrance. It's mine! Give it! Stop! What's your freaking problem, man? Wait, 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 wait. How is that the most important thing? Did you forget the part about it all being your fault? Oh, come on, that was not my fault. Not all of it. Are you making a face under there? I can't tell what you're thinking if... Okay, fine. But let me start at the beginning. I was born here, on Pandora, in a city cast in shadow known as Hollow Point. It's in a cave. Anyway, for a long time it was just me and my sister. Just a couple of kids stealing what we could to survive. Until we met Felix. We tried to nab his wallet. Not only did he stop us, he showed us how to do it better. We've been working together ever since. This is taking too long. She's waiting. This latest scam was our biggest yet. The one that would set us up for life. That sounds familiar. What can I say? A lot of these stories start out the same way. 
Fiona, relax. There's nothing to be nervous about. <laughs> Good. If August's offense worth his cut, he'll be selling it to some Iberian stooge. It should be good enough to fool one of them. Not too many people have seen a vault key, real or otherwise. The paint may still be wet. Be sure not to let anyone touch it. There are only a couple spots to worry about, but it's best not to risk it. That looks great, Felix. It's the best I can do in the time given. Hey! You're a pro. This is what you do. Your sister may have brought in the mark, but you're the one that'll close the deal by playing whatever role you need to to get the job done. If she introduces you as a tiny psycho, you'll squat down and scream about poop trains. Okay? That first introduction is who you are. You two have to work together. You can count on me, Felix. I know. It's just nice to hear it out loud sometimes. Showtime. Fiona, when she gives you your role, you play it as best you can. The deal came together much faster than I'm comfortable with, but it's worth the risk. So it's best to take precautions against the unforeseen. The Purple Skag is not the type of place you walk into without a backup plan. So you want me to shoot my way out? Might need a bigger gun. It's only for emergencies. One bullet. That's right. You'll always be able to talk your way out of more situations than you can shoot your way out of. Wet paint. No touch. Emergency only. I got it. Sorry, no one's getting in here today, pretty lady. VIPs only. Private function. There's the Firestone Tavern down the road. Why do you care? I mean, does this really matter? Of course it matters. It's my job. I ain't letting no one in there what's not supposed to be in there. Yeah. Whoa, no, no! Look at me, and look at you. You ain't just pushing your way past me, no ma'am. That's ain't gonna happen. Wait a second. That's you there. Your face is on that paper with that writing on it. What's that about, huh? What's them words say? And don't you lie, and go taking advantage of me. It says owner, as in I own the bar. No. August owns this place. I know who I work for. We're business partners. Well, I don't know. Alice of the Way, Tector. She's the VIP we've been waiting for. Dang, Sasha, why didn't you tell me she was with you? So sorry, ma'am. <laughs> can't believe that worked. I can't either. August is with someone else, so we got a second. He has some trust issues. He keeps asking about you, so I'm just gonna tell you everything I told him. It's a lot. Great. So, here's the setup. You're Lydia Strauss. We're old friends. You're an archaeologist that stole the vault key from a dig site on Eden 6. But you're originally from Eden 5. You contacted me, and we met at Pyro Pete's just after Mercenaries Day to talk about the deal. Then I set you up with August, you provide the key, August and I go make the deal, then we split the money three ways. The rest of it, you're just gonna have to improvise. Did you get all that? I told you. It's a lot, I- Yes, yeah, Sasha, I got it. This isn't my first rodeo. Good. Good. That's a relief. <laughs> Tommy, come on. How far do we go back? I've known your family a real long time, August. <laughs> That's right. Which is why this is all gonna work out. Now you say hi to the missus, okay? Will do, August. <laughs> Buddy. Doctor! Yeah, boss? Make sure Tommy gets home. Thanks again. Hey, 
Hey, August. This is... Oh, hey. Sasha tells me you've got something really cool to show me. <laughs> it's Lydia, right? Strauss? Sasha's told me a lot about you. She ensures me you can be trusted, which is the only reason I'm willing to do a deal with someone I don't know. No! No! Please, please, Hawkins! Please, I'll pay! I'll pay! I'll pay! I'll pay. You are. <laughs> The little bastard had a Molly Wong shield on. Shocked me real good. Sorry about the mess, boss. Won't happen again. Well, that was exciting. On bring us over a couple drinks, then start mopping up that blood. I don't want to have to get the floors redone. Sure thing, babe. Let's get to business. Give out on his tab? Yeah, something like that. Your business deals always go like that? He said he'd do something, then he didn't. I don't abide dishonest people. Have a seat. So, how long have you been an archaeologist? Fascinating. Getting out there in the dirt, uncovering priceless artifacts. Long enough to find a vault key. <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems like the perfect amount of time. That's interesting. Hey, where'd you say you found this again? Refresh my memory. Sasha mentioned it was one of the Edens. I found it on Eden 6, at a dig site there. Right, Eden 6. Marcus is always talking about that place. Says it's really nice. It's nice when you find a vault key there. <laughs> it most certainly is. Thanks, huh? All right. Let's have a look. Of course. anything this expensive before. Well, I'm sold. I'll call Vasquez and get this going. Uh, Vasquez, it's August. Are you buying this bulky or what? Because I... Hey, wait, do you have me on speaker? Seriously? No, look, I don't even know what obstinate means, man. What I know is I gotta move this thing right now. I know what obstinate means. These Hyperion guys get uncomfortable around people that sound too competent. Expect a nervous, small-time Pandoran thug, so I give them what they want. No, man, this thing is hot. I, I got an office, so if you want it, you gotta get down here. No, we'll, we'll be there soon. That ain't good enough, buddy boy. I ain't that guy. How well do you know this Vasquez guy? We've met a few times. He's a bit of a prick, but most Hyperion guys are. I've noticed that. Look, let me make it crystal clear. I want ten million dollars. That's right. We'll be waiting for you. Yeah? You say hi to your... He hung up. All right. Sasha will hold the key, since it's clear you don't trust me alone with it. And seeing as I just had a guy killed in front of you, I'm not even offended. Bring your gun, babe. Got it. So that's it? She'll let you know when it's done, where to get your money. Let's go. We'll follow in the caravan.
we're in position. Let us know when they arrive. Hey, August, you, you got a little something on your face. <sighs> Come here, let me get that for you. Oh, thanks, huh? I can't believe you let him touch the key. No touch. That's what you said. It worked out in the end. This time. Luckily. The look on your face when he smeared it on his cheek. That's not funny. <laughs> Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. All right. The place itself. We're on. What happened? You get stuck in traffic? Oh, well, excuse me. I, I don't know if you heard the explosions outside, but, you know, we had to mow down about a couple hundred bandits just so we could ring the goddamn doorbell. Just in time for the spring collection. <laughs> yeah, well, that's Pandora for you. If it ain't a friggin' bug stampede, some jerk-off is using you for rocket practice. All right, well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August, but I figure you know that already. He's, uh... Is Vasquez coming? There are two guys here, but neither of them are Vasquez. He may have sent some lackeys. Didn't want to get his hands dirty. Oh, damn it. One of them has an echo eye implant. If he scans the key, he'll know it's a fake. They're still talking, but there's no way they're not going to scan it. Unless they're complete morons. Felix, we need to disable it. Yes, okay, yes. Good thinking. There's a small EMP device in the chest over there. Grab it for me while I assemble a detonator. Uh, what? Ah, oh, come on. How do you find anything in here? It's about palm-sized and has a small circuit board sticking out of it. It's this one here. Here. This will generate a low-level electromagnetic pulse. That should be enough to scramble his system. But you need it close to the keys. Sasha, on my signal, you need to get the case over to the vent behind you. How the hell do I do that? I don't know. Figure it out. There's a ventilation shaft in the back that'll give you access. Once you're in, I'll talk you through. Stay in the shadows. The walls are paper thin. Don't be seen. Don't be heard. Go! Hurry! I can see him. We don't have long. How do I get inside? There should be an air duct that leads to the room they're in. Find it. That's where you'll take your position. Right. On it. Are you in position? I'm almost in the vent. Good. When you get to the end of the air duct, let me know. The EMP range is weak, so you and Sasha will have to work together to pull this off. Got it. Hi! My deepest apologies, but we're actually closed. Also, this really isn't a door, but... Uh... You scared the crap out of me. I get that a lot. I'm Shane. Pleasure to meet you. I know it's hard to trust, but I'm a people person. Uh, I'm Fiona. Oh, delighted. Sometimes you want to talk to someone not decomposing. <laughs> know what I mean? Sure. Just get out of there. I need to get through. I gotta go. We were having such a nice chat. You ever see anything so pretty in your miserable lives? Fiona, are you in place yet? Almost there. So where are we going? Shh, go away. <gasps> You're looking for that girl, right? With the hair. I know the best spot to peek without getting caught. Let me come with you. It's been a long time since I had any friends. <laughs> Fine. Just stay quiet and make yourself easy. You, you won't regret this. Shut up. So what the hell are you? I just, I just don't like it. They've had this dumb attitude on their dumb faces since the moment they walked in. What are you talking about? And why, why? I mean, look at that guy. Look at his face. Hey, I'm here. What's wrong with his Good. face? Sasha is waiting near the end of the vent. Get the like EMP that. onto the case. He's hiding something, August. All right, it's 
ready. So you're saying this key will get used to screw over some wretched Hyperion stooge? That's exactly what we're saying. All right, I'm sold. Good work, Fiona. Aren't we gonna join your friends? No, we're gonna sit here and play the quiet game. Well, Sasha, if you wait. see him try to scan yeah, the key, give us a signal. I mean, Fiona, when you hear the signal, know. activate the EMP. Got it. Now, nah, I made up my mind. August, wait! Reese, this is your department. Do something! August. What? Come on, man! Please! Dude, ten million dollars. You make a good point. Okay, Fiona, he's about to scan it. Uh. <gasps> What's happening? He dropped the key. He dropped it? What do you mean he dropped it? A hell? I'm fine. Thanks. I'm fine. Let's just not have any more surprises today. Oh, come on! Are you really trying to steal our caravan? Now, 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 hold on. It's it's not what it looks. Okay, it is. But I am really sorry, okay? Oh, give us one good reason. We shouldn't shoot you and drag your bodies out that... There's one reason. Hey! We're not done here! Fiona, the door. Out of my way. I don't like it when people lie to me, Sasha! You should never, ever lie to me, Sasha! Just drop! Where? Uh, away from here! I think we 
lost them. So, what do we do with them? Yeah, Fiona. What did you do with them, huh? I mean, other than try to con us out of our money. You weren't even supposed to be there. Well, that didn't stop you, did it? At least the money was real. All right, all right, I get it. You didn't trust each other. As it turned out, we had good reason not to. I'll give Sasha this much. From the start, she knew not to trust them. Well, I just thought she was being paranoid. Enough. What happened next? Yeah, yeah. Tell the nice man what you did to us next. You know, in our time of need. Tell him what you did then. We tried to throw him out. We should just shoot them first. Save the bullet. The fall will definitely kill them. Stop it with the embellishments. What really happened? No, actually, that's exactly how it went down. Yeah, I was trying to kill him. Oh. Okay. Continue. Ah! Wait! You don't want to do this! He's just stalling. This is a waste of time. Okay! Okay, you convince me. We split the money... 60-40! Wrong answer! Well, wait! We, we can find the money! What? There's a tracker in the case. Reese can follow it. Let him back in, Sasha. Come on, Reese. This is serious. I had it under control, Vaughn. Of course you did. Even if you get that case of money back, you won't be able to open it. It has a top-of-the-line biometric lock. It's impossible to open without me and my passcodes. Get the case into my hands and I can open it. Hey, you say so. But getting the case is the hard part. All right, Hyperion. Prove it. Find the money. <laughs> no problem. Uh... Oh, call the vet. Yeah, Vaughn. I know. You want to call more Hyperion after us? Calm down, Sasha. Let's see what they can do. Thank you. And then kill them if they betray us. Reese, what the hell is going on down there? You were supposed to do the deal, then come right back. People are looking for you now. No, we're fine, we're fine. Just did a minor setback in the plan. A minor setback? That's not what it looks like from up here. Vasquez was already pissed enough about the car. That was before he got the call from this August guy. You two have been blacklisted up here, and it's only gonna get worse the more Vasquez keeps yelling. <laughs> Unbelievable! Can't you do anything? Not without implicating all three of us. I already had security asking me everything I know. Come on! I just need access to the Hyperion network! It's like I said, Breeze. You're cut off, and my login ID is being monitored. Look, I'm doing my best up here to keep any extra heat off you, but you have to find somebody else. There's only so much I can do. I shouldn't be talking to you this long. Don't trace the signal. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm sure I can come up with something. I've got to go, Reese. You're going to have to fix this one yourself. How are we supposed to get an ID from another employee? We're not allowed to talk to other employees. So, you've got nothing. Out you go. Hang on, hang on. Can't you, I don't know, install someone else's credentials? I think we're the only two Hyperion guys left on the planet. Ugh! I still have Nakayama's ID drive! Creepy Black Ops projects like that have to be higher security clearance than us. Look, just give up the act, Hyperion. You're just trying to stall us and we're not buying it. What? No. With this, I'm gonna be able to take us straight to the money. <coughs> You might want to hang on to something. Wait until you get a load of this. I'm very disappointed in you. Did you think you could follow in my footsteps? You are nothing more than another pitiful little code monkey. All swagger. No substance. Uh, uh, I guess Vaughn got the tracker working. Uh, Vaughn? Where'd everybody go? Uh, what happened?
We were still waiting to get a load of that. You know, when you said get a load of this, we assumed you were talking about the drool that pulled around your face when you were unconscious. I tracked the money while you were out. Quiet. This place is crawling with bandits. You okay, Reese? It totally whacked your head right after you plugged in. It made this gross sound. Yeah, yeah I'm fine now. What happened back there? No idea. Just blacked out. All your cybernetics still seem to be working, as far as I can tell. So, the case is in Fair. Somewhere. Wow. What is that place? Looks like some kind of abandoned Atlas warehouse. Doesn't look abandoned to me. It looks more like every bandit on this side of the planet is shown up. How about it, Mr. Roboto? Do you see any way to get inside? Reese, if that's Atlas Tech, you should be able to scan it. That vault hunter. Oh, perfect. As soon as a vault hunter finds a case with millions of dollars in it, it's as good as gone. You know how they are. They're worse than bandits. Can't we just go in the same way the vault hunter did? We're not vault hunters, Sasha. Settle down. I got this. Ooh, that hatch goes down underneath the building, but it's guarded. Okay, so you found a way in. Now remember to get in and out of there quickly. We've already taken too many risks today. You're not coming along? Somebody needs to stay and protect the getaway car. I'll be waiting for your signal. And Fiona, Sasha, be prepared. Don't trust anyone. We've got a way in, but how are we going to get down there? Have you forgotten about the bandit parade going by? <laughs> That's the easy part. First, we find a crappy hiding spot. Then, we make ourselves a new friend. Fiona and Sasha find cover in order to sneak closer. While we casually take our new pal for a stroll. from one of the guards, making sure that his buddy doesn't feel left out. Then we take the secret entrance, which leads us to the briefcase, and we take a moment to celebrate our swift and easy victory. And we are good to go. Everyone got that? Guys? Damn it. We found another way down. After you. My way would have worked. I got this, okay? Just give me a second. Fiona! Fiona! Open up, please! It's pitch black in here. Would you chill out? You were hoping this would happen. You wanted to separate us so you could pick us off. Hyperions! <sighs> I can't believe I trusted someone from Hyperion. You gotta focus on getting the money back. Of course. The money. That's all that matters to you, Suits. It was money we brought to you. Remember? Fake vault key? You just tried to steal our van. See? You're just lashing out now. Nah. Shut up. Walk in front of me. Money's on the move. It's close. We have to hurry.
wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. I've got a shot. No, it's too it's late. Not. I... <sighs> Crap. We have to get to that lift. Yep, easy. I'll take the one on the left. You get the one on the right. Oh, do you think you can handle that? I know you Hyperion guys don't like getting your hands dirty. Oh, I'm not worried about me. Because I took out a dozen bandits earlier today. Are you sure you can handle it? Um, are you serious? I don't know. You talk a big game, but I haven't seen you in action. You just make sure you don't scuff your nice little shoes, okay, Hyperion boy? <laughs> They're skag skin. They're atrocious. Come on. It. Then do it. Just a little end around here. Get this to line up with. Oh, come on, really? I thought we were past this. Past this? Do you even know what Hyperion means to us on Pandora? The havoc they caused here? The pain? Yes, I get it. We're the worst. So. Can you lay off for a bit? Oh, well, I guess talking about your evil corporate bosses gets under your skin. Good. It should. Um, what the hell was that? It's one of the power systems starting up. How is it up there, anyway? Where? Up on that base you're all in. What's it called? Helios. Right, Helios. I mean, what's it like being an emotionless cog spinning away day after day for the most bloodthirsty, brutal, soul-crushing, love-defying corporation in the whole wide universe? Is it fun? Is it something you like? Listen, it's one thing to be sick of being number two, but I've been number 556 for what feels like forever so i have to make it i have to make this work and i have to get to the top of the hyperion food chain or i'll have wasted basically my entire life well that's the saddest thing i've ever heard i'm trying to open up here uh newsflash you did you wasted your life working for assholes i'm well aware of your opinion of hyperion i uh i have to concentrate Can I help you? Your stun baton. It's the JR-4000. Can I... can I see it? Hold it, I guess I should say. 
What if I say please? Would that make it easier for you? No. What? I said no. Who says I can't just take it from you? Look, you asked, and I said no. Anything you're compelled to do after that is on you. Get the lift working. And we are in. Password override. System online. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm impressed. I suppose you're not completely useless after all. <laughs> That's a relief. Yeah, get the lift moving. I got in, but it didn't give me the right clearances, so I'm gonna need a second. Well, hurry up. Uh -huh. Damn it, not now. Reese! Can't read the buttons, they're all glitched out. Just, uh, I don't know, stay out of their way. Oh, I hate scabs. Starving. Oh, at least now when we die, it'll have a nice sound. Hang on, hang on, I've almost got it. Judith, you almost got it. Yeah, I do. Do what? Uh, nothing. <clears throat> Give me a sec. It's not making things. Yes! got glasses face and Hadley you guys really know how to accessorize what are you two doing here oh hey um <laughs> it's a funny story actually what are you doing here is more like it okay uh you're not really supposed to answer a question with a question I already know what I'm doing here. really and what would that be wow okay that's aggressive sort of caught me off guard uh, oh, don't be shy I I prepped the cars for the drivers. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Prepping cars, huh? Sounds pretty interesting. So, you guys drivers or what? Sorry, I realize this is rude, but I really don't like your face. No, I get that a lot. Not one thing. If you're supposed to be prepping the cars, why aren't you doing it? I guess because I'm talking to you. That's probably why. If you must know. I think you're slacking. Whoa, okay, what are you, a secret shopper? You see I'm armed, right? This is a gun. That's a weird way to talk to someone you don't know. Not even factoring in firearms. Let's start over. If you're not official drivers, well, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to shoot you in the face. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. There's no need for that. It's just a uh, misunderstanding. We love to race. It's been our dream for, like, ever. Definitely. It's our favorite. Well, then I guess you're in the right place. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Yeah. That's what they sound like. Vroom, vroom. I guess I'll go get your ride. Oh. Hey, I got something that might interest you. If you're racing, you should look the part. I'm not going to give them away for free, but uh, you want to look like a team. Ooh, nice choice. Okay, if anyone asks, you didn't get these from me. Now get going. Ride it, Wade. Nice 
clean space station right now, tabulating columns of beautiful numbers. My mask smells weird. Does your mask smell weird? Yeah. Look, the important thing is that we're inside and away from that... ...bandits. At least they seem preoccupied. This is bad. This is bad. What have we gotten ourselves into here? Psychos? Motor chariot thingies? Sponsors? Some sort of race thing, obviously. Yeah, death race. Eh, looks more like a main race to me. Race will begin! What an ass. Guns, guns, more guns! Fiona, what do we do? I'm getting so sick of having guns pointed at me. We need to find Sasha. And Reese. I hope they're gonna be okay. But I hope that about us even more. I'm sure they're fine, but we need to get to them. I just don't have a plan for how we do that yet. Yeah, that's what's upsetting me. And no mail to today's earlier happenings. The clerk prize for tonight's race is... It sounds simple. It is simple ish. Calm down, it's in the bag. If we win this race, we get the case. If? The deal of a lifetime is really only worth it if your remaining lifetime is more than 24 hours. I won't let anything happen to you, okay? I'm gonna need you in there, and you need to just trust me. <sighs> Okay. 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 Let's do this. See? Now you're having a good time. You just gotta let loose. Rev the engines on your life, Ron. Wait, what do you mean? It doesn't matter. Just, you know, enjoy the moment. I could get used to this. Yep. Just don't hurt yourself. Oh! Oh! Hello! How does a jackass like this become a leader of anything? Whoa, whoa! I think this guy wants to eat my eyeballs. You're just being- Tasty eyeballs! Good for fricassee! Okay then, just don't lean in- My scoop, buggy! Filthy death! No, 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 you've got this all wrong! We didn't do anything! If you let him kill me, you'll never get the money. Oh, yeah, sure I will. Felix can bypass any lock. He'll have your case open faster than this guy can eat your lips. But he can't defuse the bomb sync to my biosignature. Bomb? There's a bomb in the case? Let me go! Stop it! Stop touching my body! You need to sack up, Vaughn. I can't keep bailing you out of these messes. Accelerated depreciation! Unfavorable variants on amortized premiums! Make friends forever! Look at that. A friend for life. What the hell is this? Sounds like we're starting early. Die is high on a psycho cycle! You Pandorans are all crazy. You do know that, right? Drivers drive! Drivers drive! You're the man now, dog. What? I don't know. Okay, I'll admit, that looks pretty dangerous. Life come. Life go. This is fine! We're okay! And now, maniacs, degenerate and scum! Chariot race thing where everyone dies.
doesn't mean I like it. Who am I period? Mystery King someone now! I really, really, really don't like this. Zero! Actually, uh, the last freak standing still gets the mystery box. But whoever kills that guy gets 20 G's cold on. Send a loader bot. Oh, Professor Nakayama, you sound different. That's guess. Is, is that your boss? You know what? I really don't have time. Then I'll make this fast. I know about the bombs, John. Okay, I know. So now we've got this prop. A lot of Hyperion chatters. Get off the phone, Reese. Look, no one else up here needs to know about this little faux pas. All right? You bring back the money, and, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll give you your old job back. Before the janitor, the respectable job. We'll just have to blame the whole thing on your buddy, Paul. Okay. I mean, it is his ID associated with the account train. And why would I do that? Because one phone call from me, and you're in the clear. Hey, look, I admit it, you screwed me. You really do. Cool moves, Reese. Cool moves. Hyperion will want my dick in a sling. So, get your cybernetic rear up here with the money and I'll split it with you 50 50. You scratch my nuts, I scratch yours. That kind of thing. The Von takes the ball. And the two of them. We've got girls. Scratch your own nuts. Really? Oh, I'll scratch them. I'll scratch them hard. You messed up, Reese. You could have been back home living the good life. Passing that up for the sake of your little friends. You have fun dying on that poop shoot of a planet where you belong. No more phone calls, okay? We have to... Come on. Look, there is that! 
Thanks. My luck was about to run out back there. Don't thank me just yet. old con men are pretty rare. Looking at him right then, I thought I understood him. Maybe for the first time in my whole life. Didn't stop me from being pissed off. I hope one day you'll understand. Perhaps you'll even find it in your heart to forgive me. Felix? Felix! I told you to never trust anyone. Anyone. 
This is the only way to make you understand. One last thing for you to learn. I'll get you for this. I don't doubt that you will. Goodbye, Phil. Officially the worst day ever. Casanova's dead. I don't think he was lying. Gordas is not here. Don't sweat it, babe. That's one less bandit lord we have to worry about. There's plenty of time for sweating later, once you come back to me for your reward. My quest is not done. My reward for you is gonna be long, hard, and powerful. Gordas remains out of reach. It's a rocket launcher? Yes. Innuendo. Sasha, about what happened with Felix. Stop, okay? I don't want to talk about it right now. Their friend Felix tried to take the money for himself. He was killed in the explosion. So we have no money, no vault key, nothing. It's over. I mean, what, what do we even do now? Check the bodies. Take anything valuable. It's not like there's going to be ten million dollars worth of... Do you have any better ideas? You came to Pandora, now you get to live like we do. Wait for more powerful people to kill each other and then take their stuff. Junk can't be worth that much. That pistol over there is worth at least a hundred bucks. Oh, well, good. We just need a hundred thousand more of those and we're all set. to do that Ugh. good because it doesn't look like there's a safe way down to help you so figure your way out of there what's down there <laughs>
Uh, there's a bunch of old Atlas prototype stuff, some tech, there's like a few weapons and... Where? Too dangerous, huh? No way. <laughs> the Atlas Silver! <gasps> One of the rarest SMGs on Pandora. These models were never even released. Vintage, I guess. Atlassio! I thought these things were just a rumor! Look, 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 look! It tells time, and it's a calculator. Just give me a math problem. Just give me Is a math problem. Is it worth a lot of money? Sort of. I mean, yeah, you know, it's not ten million dollars worth, but... Oh man, to the right people. Atlas Tech in mint condition like this is worth a hell of a lot to collectors. Some Hyperion execs buy it just to put it on their trophy shelves and gloat. And unreleased prototypes at that. I mean, who knows what this is worth? All right, Sasha. Let's grab what we can and get out of here. Quickly. Don't tell anyone those bandits will be back. We better do the same, Reese. Would you like to do the honors? It's the last one. It's only right for us both to reveal it. I mean, that's the best part. Yeah, I was kind of hoping you'd say that. All right. Big That look incredibly valuable. Yeah, and there's two of them, so I don't have to stab you. Yeah, that's a bonus. Like all the bigger half. What is it? No idea. We got what we came for, so let's go, Sasha. Hey, Vaughn, can you see if there's a crowbar lying around? We're gonna have to try to pry these apart before we... was never real. Right. Then you lost the money. Well, technically, we found it. <laughs> but then it blew up. Sure. But at the end of all that, you discover the Gordis Project, which is all about opening a vault. Right. That's very convenient. Uh, not really. I mean, one way or another, everything on Pandora is leading you to a vault. I'd actually uh, agree with her on that. A rarity. I'm sure. So, what happened next? Uh, well, 